Today I'm going to show you exactly how to create an ebook in Canva step by step so you can start selling them online for passive income. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I talk all about selling digital products online while building your online business and brand. If that sounds like something you want to do, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. I've been selling digital products on Etsy for a few months and it has only inspired me to figure out more ways to create passive income. I've created a few ebooks already to help grow my email list and I finally finished my first ebook, which is more like a workbook that's going to be available on my brand new website. I'll leave a link in the description box down below so you can take a look at it. It's basically for new Etsy sellers that want to start their digital product shop on the right track. Now let's get onto my computer and start the ebook tutorial. All right, so I'm on Canva right now. You can create the ebook with the free version, but if you wanted to upgrade to Canva Pro and even try it for 30 days, I'll leave a link in the description box. So this is the homepage. I'm going to go to documents and I'm going to click on A4 document. So all these templates are going to pop up and you can use any of these templates and swap out the photos, the words, the fonts. But for now, I'm just going to start with a blank document right here. Again, we have our blank document that we can work with right here. On the side, there's all the templates again that you can work with. You can even go up here and type in ebook. All these options are going to pop up specifically for ebooks. And if you hover over them, you'll see this one has four pages and it will show you what they look like. You can also filter up here for, let's say I want just pink or blue templates. It'll be easier for me to look through them. For now, I'm just going to clear that. And let's say for the sake of showing you how this would look i can apply all four pages or i can just click on one of these if i want to let's say use this one for example as my cover so let's say i use all four pages now i have these four pages that i can start to click through the text and the photos and i can swap out whatever i want but for the sake of this tutorial, because I'm not really a fan of these templates, I'm going to start from scratch. And the only thing I'm going to use is the cover. So just click on these icons to delete the pages. And I'm going to use this for my cover. The first thing I'm going to do is swap out this pink background for one of my stock images. So you can get stock images from Pexels or Pixabay for free or you can purchase the commercial license to stock images on Creative Market. If you don't use Creative Market, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. The great thing is you get free goodies every Monday and you can just go through and see if there's any images that you would like to purchase for your eBooks. So for now, I'm going to drag this one and replace it with the old image. And if you want to upload any of your images, just go to Upload Media, click on Device and just go through your folders. So right now I want to delete that pink rectangle that's on top of my image. So I'm going to click on my image and go send it back and I'm going to delete this and now drag this to cover the entire artboard. Okay. So now I'm going to change the text here. I'm going to put how to use Pinterest for your business. I'm going to change the spacing between these lines here. So I'm going to go up here, go to line height and reduce that. I'm going to change this to by Sandra D and up here, I'm going to write five steps to traffic growth. Okay. So I like that for my cover. Now I'm going to go to add page and I'm going to just start from scratch on my very first page. So I'm going to add a top and bottom border that's going to include the title of my ebook. So go to elements and click on this rectangle. Okay, so I'm just going to change the height and width of it. Now I want to change the color of this border so you can go up to color. And the great thing is it will show you the photo colors that would match your cover. So I'm just going to choose more of a neutral color. And I'm going to copy and paste. So control C or command C if you're on a Mac and control V and bring it down here. Now I'm going to add my title again here. So you can go to text, add a subheading. I'm going to change the font of this to match the cover font. So you can go over here and you can also change the size of this right here if you want. Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste the title and bring it down here. And I'm just going to put by Sandra D. 
You can also put the little copyright symbol right by your name, just so that people know that this is your product and they can't just purchase it and resell it. Now I'm going to add a title and change the size. If I want to center it with the page, I'll just go to position center. Okay. So let's add some body text. So let's go to body text, bring it up here and you can just start typing. Now you can either keep working on this document or you can copy and paste some information that you've already prepared, let's say on a word document. So I'm going to copy and paste some information that I prepared already. And you can drag this to make it wider or more narrow. You can also change the format by highlighting it and going over here. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And I'm going to format it a little bit because when I copied and pasted it, it was a different format from the document I already worked on. Okay. So I'm going to copy and paste this title again, because I'm going to add another section body text over here and copy and paste it from my document. Okay, so now I want to add a stock image to the bottom of this page. So I'm going to go to uploads and normally I would upload a bunch of stock images that I can add throughout my ebook. But for now, I'm going to use the same stock image that I used for my cover just to show you how this works. So I'm going to drag it at the bottom and reduce the size so I can fit it nicely over here. Okay, so I'm ready to start the second page of my ebook. But instead of going to add page, I'm going to duplicate this page because I want all of the pages of the ebook to have those borders and those words. So I'm going to duplicate and I'm just going to remove all of this. Okay. So back to text and this will be step one. Now I want to break up this text with another stock image. So I'm going to add this one here and continue with some more text at the bottom. So of course I would then create all the pages with all the steps that I need for this ebook. But now I want to show you the very last page on how I would do it. I'm going to go to add page and then I'm going to add in, let's say this stock image and I'm going to lighten it. So you can go to transparency here. What I like to do for all the products that I create, I like to have my information in case somebody that purchases my product, they want to get in touch with me or really basically follow my online business and connect with me. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a rectangle over here and I'm going to change the color again to match the photo a little bit. Go to add a heading. So here's where I would add my Instagram and YouTube website. But before I do that, I want to add an image of myself to make it a little bit more personal. So let's go to elements and go to frames. I'm going to add a photo of me in this circle, go to uploads. Let's do this one. So I'll just drag it into the circle and I can change the position of it. Okay. So what I like to do is put in actual clickable links. So let's add in my Instagram. And what you can do now is go to this icon here. It says link and put in your Instagram link in there so that when people actually purchase this and get the PDF copy, if they click this, it directs them to your Instagram account. So I'm going to do the same thing now for my YouTube account. And that's basically it. So now I want to download this as a PDF. So go up here and it already suggests a PDF. So I'm going to download and you can also download one of the pages or all of the pages. So for now I'm going to download all four. Okay. Let's open it up and take a look. Okay. So you can see that this is my ebook. There's the cover, the first and second page. And over here are my clickable links. So if I were to click here, it's going to take me directly to my Instagram or my YouTube channel. Now, in case you haven't downloaded my actual guide on how to grow your business with Pinterest, be sure to grab it from the link in the description box down below.
If you want to see more tutorials in Canva or Illustrator, drop your suggestions in the comments. I would love to know what you want to learn. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Next, you can check out my video on how to create printables in Canva, as well as how to create pins that go viral. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week, guys. Bye for now.